Hi everybody, uh, it's been an awful long time, I'm sorry, but I've had Covid twice, etc. My voice is gone. Uh, <clears throat> so I'll do what I can. Now, most of you know I live on a boat. Uh, I travel around England on it and I really enjoy it. By the way, this isn't my boat. I'm not a multi-millionaire. Uh, mine's a narrow boat, 57 foot long and six foot and a half wide. So um, I don't have a lot of room for camera collection. But anyway, let's get on. So anyway, back to uh, the major part of this. And that's uh, camera collecting. What I'm going to do is try and look at every camera um, in detail. For example, um, let's have a look at an exactor. And the exactor, I'm going to try and tell you how to identify an exactor that was pre-war. Um, of course, the pre-war ones um, were worth a lot more, or are worth a lot more money. So, and there are two versions of that, and one of the versions is worth even more money. So, um, that's what I'm going to do with every camera, try and help you decide which one to buy at a market, and what is worth the money and what isn't. Now, the other thing, of course, I do realise that people don't have the space. I mean, for example, if you want to uh, to collect Polaroids, this is the first one ever made, um, <coughs> first model ever made, then you're going to need space. Opposing to that, of course, if you're going to, if you're going to collect little miniature cameras or sub-miniature cameras like this one, or this one, um, then it's going to be a lot easier. You just need one shelf for about a hundred. So that's really the important thing, isn't it? As a, the other important thing is budget. Would you believe that a simple Kodak box camera could cost you anywhere between two pounds and two hundred pounds? It's frightening, isn't it? Just a little box camera. So I'll be trying to help you with that as well, which ones to buy, which ones not to buy. Um, can you imagine just a little box camera? This isn't one that's worth £200, um, but it's a nice camera, it's a nice colour. It's the sort of thing, to, it looks better on a shelf if they're all different colours and all different types, like Art Deco, etc. We're going to, of course, do the standard Bellows cameras. Uh, in fact, we're going to do all types of cameras. So the thing is to subscribe. And I think there's a little bell you have to press as well, isn't there? I've, I've, I'm so out of date with, uh, with YouTube. I suppose that's it. Now, we'll move on. I think the first film we'll do is the exacta, how to identify the pre-war one. So I'll see you soon. All right. Probably, uh, let's say, five or six days.